Hi, and uh, welcome to another edition of Willis Garage. Today I am going to talk about a brand new project. I plan to build a 3D printer that prints in ceramics or clay. This 3D printer is called a ceramics 3D printer and there are many of these out there but not many of these that are DIY. I have made some preliminary drawings here and a parts list but I made a new version of this on my computer in Fusion 360. So let's go into the computer. Here we have the new design. It's designed using some aluminum extrusion. Before I started this project I had a dialogue with uh, the people of banggood.com and we came to an agreement that they would send me almost all of the materials I used on this machine and I will in return post links for the products I use down below. So almost everything I use in this project is from banggood.com. As you can see on the design I have uh, used aluminum extrusion. Here we have the 2080 extrusion. Here we have the 2060 extrusion. And here we have the 2040 extrusion. Links to all these parts are down below in the description of this video. For the linear rails on the x-axis I use this McAfee HGR20 linear rail guide. As you can see in Fusion I have one on each side the, to get the stability I need for the one arm that goes up and becomes my set axis. On the set axis I use one of the uh, HGR20 rails. I may change this design to uh, have another HGR20 rail on this side. I'm not sure about that yet but I will decide when I get there. For the Y axis rail I have a smaller one. This is called the HGR15. And if you see the frame on my build, I have used these aluminum extrusions, which also is the McAfee 2060, 2040 and 2080 aluminum extrusion. The frame itself is going to be 60 centimeters down here in the X axis. The height of the Z axis is going to be 80 centimeters and the length of the Y axis out here is going to be 60 centimeters. I hope this is going to be, uh, give me a build volume of approximately let's say 50 times 50 times 80 or 500 times 500 times 800. Yeah and as you see down here I am going to build a frame all the way around here, a square frame. And I'm going to build a plate down in the bottom here that sits on that square frame. So the plate in the bottom will sit still while this whole assembly will move back and forth. The set axis will move up and down on this side and the y axis will move side to side up here. For the frame I have opted to go for two 20 wide aluminum extrusions. And I'm going to use uh, brackets here to fasten these aluminum extrusions together. So this is the one for the bottom. This is the one that's going up on the set axis, like so. And these are the ones that's going out on the Y axis. These brackets down here I am going to build out of aluminum. I did not get any aluminum plates on banggood.com but I found these on eBay. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this. Here I have two aluminum plates. They are uh, six millimeters thick. And these are going to be used to build the brackets down here by the x-axis. The bracket behind here on the z-axis. And the bracket here on the gantry. Which is going to support the extruder, the clay extruder or ceramics extruder. 
The uh, the clay or ceramics extruder I have not uh, made a CAD of yet. But it's going to be based uh, upon some other designs uh, like the one on the Lutum 3D printer for clay. They use a cylinder where you put the clay, as you can see on this image. The cylinder is then pressurized by uh, high pressure air from uh, 2 to 6 uh, bars. And down on the extruder end we have a screw which is controlled by a stepper motor. And this controls the, the feed rate of the extrusion. I think the extruder is going to be the most interesting part of this build uh, and I'm excited to <laughs> get it working or not get it working. I'm sure I will make something work uh, in the end. Here we have all the bits and pieces for the aluminum extrusion. Everything here is uh, bought on banggood.com uh, and I will leave links for this in the description. We have some uh, 90 degree brackets, we have some corner brackets, we have some nuts for the uh, aluminum extrusion. These are made to go inside like so. We have some 90 degree angle brackets here. I'm going to use this to build the frame. Here we have some other angle uh, brackets which goes inside the aluminum extrusion. <laughs> like so. And some bolts for the nuts or something like that. I also have bits and pieces of uh, nuts and bolts. Yeah, now let's show you the electronics. To control this 3D printer I have uh, bought this... Uh, let me put up the link here. Uh, this set of uh, Rampas 1.4 controller. This is a Mega 2560 R3 and a 1286 for display. This is the Mega 2560 and the Rampas 1.4 controller. For this system I also have lots of end switches, limit switches, and I have the stepper motor drivers. These are the A4988 stepper motor drivers, because I'm going to use NEMA 17 stepper motors. These 4988 stepper motor drivers is connected to the Rampas up on top here. You can see I already have connected one of the stepper motor driver. More limit switches, limit switches, stepper motor, stepper motor, stepper motor, and maybe the most important part for the extruder, I have this 1 to 5 worm gear. It's a gear which you need 5 turns on this side before you get 1 turn on this side. This is going to be used on the screw that is going to be in the extruder to control the flow of the clay or the ceramics. So this is going to be hooked up on one of these stepper motors. I'm not sure which yet. I will of course leave a link for everything down in the description. And if you have any questions about anything of this, please let me know down in the comments. So, that's the plan I have for this ceramics 3D printer for now. This is going to be a multi-part build, of course, because I have not nailed the design 100%. As I go along, I'm sure there are problems that's going to appear. Then I have to change my design according to those problems. So in the first part, I am going to assemble the frame. With all this aluminum extrusion, I'm going to build the brackets from the aluminum using uh, all the other parts I have here. The angles, nuts and bolts and everything like that. There you know about my new project. I hope you find it interesting. Uh, I sure am going to find it interesting. <laughs> 
and I am sure I'm going to learn a lot as I build. That's it for this introduction part of this series. Now you know about the project and please comment down below, like this video, dislike this video, do whatever you want. But if you want to see more of this project and uh, videos as I go along, you might want to subscribe to my channel so you will get notifications when I put out some new videos. Please check out my Instagram, Facebook website. I will have more information there and behind the scenes uh, operations. That's it for now. Until next time, goodbye.